Um, you, of course, you scored the goal that got Fulham back to the Premier League as captain at Wembley. Uh, was that one of the best feelings you've had in football? Yeah, I think so. I always think it's the build-up to the game. I think the semi-final was well, it was tough against Derby. Just to get there was a great feeling, but obviously to to score the most expensive goal in football, as they call it, is it was, it was a big moment. And no, nah, it was a it was definitely a special feeling. But you know, it was um, it was a proud moment for, for me and all my family that was there. Yeah. Were you feeling the pressure then when you got put through one on one, or were you just in the zone? I don't know. It was a bit weird. I'm never that high up the pitch like one on one. <laughs> It was a bit strange, but um, no, it was it was like kind of a slow motion. Like it kind of felt a bit slow motion, yeah. but no, it was, it was yeah. some feeling when it hit the net. Yeah. You're normally pinging them in from a bit further out, aren't you? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> yeah, we will, yeah. At Kitlock Aware, massive supporters of grassroots and youth football. Um, you were obviously released by Leeds as a youngster but we're speaking to you now as a Premier League and international footballer. So what kind of advice would you give anyone who's in that same situation, any young player who's had a bit of a setback? Um, I suppose football's all about opinions and I think um, people have different opinions on you. Like I might have it later on in my career. Just It's just one of them things where they just keep on, I don't know, I, I saw a lot of belief. I think you need, it helps if you've got strong people behind you, like your family. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was obviously my world came crushing down at 16. I was there from 7 to 16 and got told that I was, I was too small and stuff. But I think, I don't know, I always just believe that this is what I was, I was meant to do. So I think my advice would be just, just keep going really because yeah, I, I think one person's opinion doesn't change. It doesn't change a lot in football really. Yeah, exactly. Well, you've come back to haunt Leeds a few times since, <laughs> haven't you? Yeah, I've scored, I've scored a few against Leeds. Yeah. <laughs> So, who would you say has had the biggest influence on your career then, and kind of getting you to where you are today? Um, I'd probably say my dad, really. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think um, academy, academy football is it, it's hard. I think it's a lot. It takes a lot out of you, your life, especially when you're little. I remember we used to travel from from Nottingham when I was like seven, three, four times a week to go to Leeds, which is like an hour and a half, and he was a taxi driver as well, so the car was a bit knackered. <laughs> but um, no, he did it because. He's seen something that a lot of kids really didn't really have, so he, yeah. he, he, he thought he had a chance and he tried to give me the best possible chance and yeah, I think it's, it's a lot down to him. And it's definitely paid off, obviously. Yeah, it's worked, yeah. <laughs> Got him a new car anyway. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Always been a bit of a set-piece specialist, um, good at scoring goals from long range. Is that something you work on on the training pitch or is that always come naturally to you? Um, I won't say I work, I work on that much. We do a bit of shooting after sessions for like a, a laugh and stuff, and yeah. put a bit of money on it, or <laughs> whoever loses collects the balls in. Nice. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think it's I think it's kind of I think it's kind of natural. I think if you can strike a ball or timing, or I think if you if you score goals, that, I think that's I think that's kind of natural. Yeah. Back to Fulham then, um, you've seen a lot of new faces coming through the door recently, mm. how are the new lads settling in? Alright, I think they've done alright, I mean we've got a lot on deadline day as you know, yeah. so I think it's only been well, not even a week since they've been through the door, so I think we spent a record amount of money for a newly promoted team which is which is, which is great obviously. Over 100 mil wasn't it? Something yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, just 100 mil, yeah. Practice. So um, yeah, so I think as soon as everything settles down and get, get the team gelled, maybe a few team nights out and stuff. And it should be, yeah, should be all right. As captain, then, is that kind of part of your role to settle in the new lads? Yeah, I think so. I think it's it's important, especially like the different nationalities we've got. We've got yeah. a lot of French-speaking players and stuff like that. So I think get everyone as close as possible is important. How's your French? My French is bad, <laughs> mate. It's bad. 